Hello everyone and welcome to Star Time Showcase. I'm your host, Jason. And I'm Koi. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to have the Star Showcase, an entertainment talk show. Alright, so what can the viewers look forward to in today's Star Showcase? For sure, they should expect fashion, music, entertainment, well, and all the top news right here on Star Showcase. All right then, so that means the viewers do have a lot to look forward to, so stay with us every week. Hello guys, and welcome back to this week's OMG Storm. So, what hotline do we have to be bust today? Well, today, let's first look at two fashion moms. That is Beyonce and Kim Kardashian with their two daughters, yeah. Blue Ivy and Northwest. Beyonce is an American singer, obviously, and a songwriter, a record producer, and an actress. She has won 20 Grammy Awards and is the most nominated woman in the awards history. She is the most awarded artist at the MTV Video Music Awards with 24 wins. In 2009, Billboard named her the top radio songs artist of the decade, the top female artist of the 2000s, and ended her the Millennium Award in 2011. Time listed her among the 100 most influential people in the world in 2013 and 2014. Forbes also listed her as the most powerful female in the entertainment industry in the year 2015. In 2008, Beyonce married Jay-Z. She publicly revealed their marriage in a video montage on the listening party for her third studio album. Beyonce gave birth to her first child, a daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. And another is Kim Kardashian, who is an American reality TV personality, businesswoman, model, and a socialite. In recent years, Kardashian has grown up influential online and social media presence, including tens of thousands of followers on Twitter and Instagram. And as of 2016, she's one of the top 10 most followed celebrities on Instagram. She has released a variety of products tied to her name, including the successful 2014 music game, Kim Kardashian, and in Hollywood, a variety of clothing and products. But one Sunday night last October, she was robbed of more than $10 million worth of jewelry in a private apartment in Paris. Oh, wow. That is a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, so oh. sad. All right. And she's also married to rapper Kanye West, and the media has dubbed their relationship as Kimye. They have received a lot of media uh, coverage. Okay. They got married in the year 2012, 14. They got married in 2014. The couple have two children together, and their eldest daughter is Northwest. It only seems like fate that the coolest and best-dressed celebrity kids on the planet, Northwest and Blue Ivy Carter, should be best friends. But... The sad reality is they haven't even hung out yet. Boom, 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 bam. All right. The second piece of news for this week is actually my favorite. And I'm sure that a lot of fans out there are as excited as I am. Oh, don't mystify. Spill it already. <laughs> All right. Actually, season three of Black Mirror is back. Six episodes of Black Mirror feature some of the best work yet from Charlie Brooker's series. The first part three episode spoilers for Hated in the Nation, Shut Up and Dance, and Nose Diver Out. Just as Charlie Brooker said, this time around we've got a detective story, we've got a romance, we've got a horror ramp, we've got a playful social satire, we've got a grimy, horrible thriller, and a military story. Wow, what a genius series again. So Jason, what do we have next? What's next? The last news for today is about the Smiths family. Ooh, the Smiths. I love the Smiths. Yes, we all do. When it comes to family matters, recently the Smiths family have been drawing a lot of media attention, like from the pick over there, right? Exactly. So Smith and Jada Pickett Smith proudly attended the Environmental Media Association 26th Annual EMA Awards on Saturday, where San Jaden was accepting the Male EMA Features Award. Mm, what All a right. prize. So, let's check out the pictures from the Environmental Media Association. It wasn't just the 18-year-old actor's parents who came out to support him. His siblings, Trey and Willow, stood by his side as well. He's such a budding fashionista in this picture. 
Don't you agree? Yes. Um, from the picture we could see, he's sporting a white jacket covered in green leaves, and his T-shirt is written, Just Water. And he's putting on grey jeans. He was even carrying a bottle of his water on the carpet, though the smiling seemed to be left to his proud father. Look at the pic right here. The father and daughter relationship is quite enviable. Yep, the Smiths have always been supportive of one another. In fact, Jaden walked the red carpet with Will at the New York premiere of Suicide Squad in August, where the 48-year-old actor told E.T. they saw it three days ago and they're coming to see it again. They told me I don't ever have to work again. They said, this is it. I'll never make anything better than this. Deadshot is the best character I will ever play, and I need to stop making movies. That's the family consensus. Does this mean that Smith plans to end his acting career? Um, well, I guess it's a little bit too early to say, but sure. who knows? Maybe it's just temporary, or maybe he's planning to move into something else. Anyway, for me, I hope to see more of him in his good movies. Me too. Okay, guys, that's all we have for you on today's OMG Storm. Stay tuned for more from us. Welcome back to Zone Special Moments. Hello viewers, today I'm thinking of changing things up a bit. I wouldn't be giving you a special word, but instead I'll be asking a question. What's the question? If you suddenly find yourself with one million dollars, what would you do? Well, a million? Yeah. Well, hmm, let me think. I guess I will pack up my bag yes. and run out of this station without looking back. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> really now? All right. Can you take me along with you? Okay, okay. So, anyway, why are you asking me such a question? I kind of no longer feel like working. Well, we are still here. We still got to work. Um, so, have you heard about the show, Who is Still Standing? Yes, I've heard of it. Who is Still Standing? Yeah. Well, it's a thrilling trivia show designed to keep both contestants and viewers on their toes by dropping contestants through the floor. Yes, hosted by two-time Emmy Award winner Ben Bailey. The series is based on the hit Israeli format entitled Still Standing, which offers contestants the opportunity to win up to $1 million while competing in head-to-head -head trivia battles. And this Thursday, who is still standing will be airing on Zone. My friends, don't forget to watch it. This show promises to be fun, fun, fun. And Jason, yeah? I do have a movie I want to recommend. Which? Double Bill. Well, Bill Goodman is a sleek, wealthy, celebrated psychiatrist who leads a double life, two wives, two lives. Come on, I've already seen the show. Rose is a best-selling romance novelist up in New York, while Charlie is a pianist in London, who just so happens has zero tolerance for flying. Both little families lived in domestic bliss, totally oblivious of each other's existence, up until when Rose finds a love letter in his pocket and jets off to London to meet her competition. Together, Rose and Charlie work to put a serious dent in his long-term family plans and his frequent flyer mileage. Where's your wedding ring? I took it off. My hands are so small. Because of the nerves. About your lecture? Yes. yes. So, why do you recommend this show, Koi? Well, I just wanted to point out that money sometimes does have an influence to people's mistakes. Right. And this show will be broadcasted on Zone this Thursday. Well, okay, fine. It's not only money that makes people make mistakes, right? Sure I think if people are left to their own devices, they'd make mistakes too. That's and anyway, true. I've actually heard more money, more problems. So, yeah. Let's move on from that, all right? Just all right, let it letting go. it go. Let's talk about movies and zone this week. 
Doc Mon, adapted from the Marvel comics. And in Doc Mon 1, Peyton Westlake is a scientist who has discovered a way to produce synthetic skin. Ooh. When gangsters attack Peyton, he is horrifically burned and assumed dead. In his quest for revenge, Peyton, aka the Dark Man, is able to take on the appearance of anyone using the synthetic skin, but he only has 100 minutes for disguise. This Saturday and Sunday, 2100 CAT, Zone will broadcast Darkman 2 and Darkman 3. Darkman and Durant both return and they hate each other as much as ever. This time, Durant has plans to take over the city's drug trade using high-tech weaponry. Darkman must stop him and try to stop Durant once and for all. Because Darkman needs more money to continue with his experiments on synthetic skin, he steals a crate of cash from drug lord Peter Rooker, and Rooker takes a sample from his adrenaline, which they will market as a super steroid. As Darkman plans his revenge on Rooker's gang, he starts to care about Rooker's neglected wife and daughter. He must now find a way to help them and destroy Rooker before he uses the adrenaline to plunge the city into chaos. Okay, my friends, that's a wrap for today's show. And if you want to know more about our show, please follow us on our Facebook page on Star Times Zone. Also, if you have any questions or comments, you could leave us a message and we would give you a feedback as soon as possible. Looking to stop her, drop her, and walk out of here with $10,000. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry. One of you guys is going through the floor any minute, 20 seconds on the clock. Vince, back to you. What clothing store's name is also a term for a tropical dictatorship? Tommy Bahama Lane Bryant. Clothing store's Banana Republic. Woo! <laughs> Man. <laughs> Lane Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing to pop into my head. Another name for a dictatorship. <laughs> back to you, Amanda. What is the profession of Bruce Willis's character in The Sixth Sense? Uh, Inspector, um, uh... Ten seconds, Amanda. Psychiatrist? Psych two passes. Psychologist? Oh, phew! Wow. Uh -huh. So that's all we have for you today, but let's take a look at what we'd have this week on Series E1, Novella E1 and Zone.
Remember to follow us on social media and give us your comments and feedback. The best way is to go to our app where you can watch live matches for free, enjoy a variety of free online videos and also preview Star Times TV guide. Or get some self-services of Star Times like recharge, check balance, check bouquet, etc. Go to www.startimestv.com and or search Star Times on Google Play to download it now. I'm Koi. And I'm Jason. It's been spectacular having you on our show. Until the next time on our show, stay entertained, stay tuned and stay blessed.